2010s horror movies. Let's do Cabin in the Woods. Cabin in the Woods was a fun movie, fun horror comedy, which is interesting because it took a while for it to get released. You think Cabin in the Woods is S tier? You know, I could I could see it being A or S tier. Cabin in the Woods is fun. I thought it was real. It's a really clever movie. Good horror comedy. I, I wish they could have done a sequel to it. Oh, they they could do a prequel. Honestly, explore more of the monsters. I had a lot of fun with the movie. I'm going to say S tier. Baba Duke. Baba Duke is a good one. A or B tier. It's good, but I don't know about how rewatchable it is. I really like Baba Duke. I'd say it's A tier, not S tier. I like how I explored the co the uh, the whole mental health concept or using mental health as the concept of horror that drove the movie. And the fucking kid, dude. I want to kill that kid. I swear to God. I think because it was a lot deeper, I'd say A. Yeah. The deeper meaning behind it. the deeper meaning for me definitely pushes from a B to an A. What makes a horror movie really good or a movie in general is the rewatchability, right? A. I'm going with A. I'm gonna say A. I, I liked it. It was creepy. I like the deeper meaning behind it. S tier, not really. A good. Everyone's favorite, the remake of A Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, Nightmare on Elm Street, the remake. It wasn't all terrible. I do like. Jackie, Earl Haley. If he had the freedom he wanted to, he could have done a way better job, but because of the script and the studio, he definitely wasn't given the reins to do what he wanted with it, which is kind of sad. I'm not gonna say it's a D. I'll say it's a C. Not even a Robert England cameo. I know. <laughs> jump, jump, you're on. The Conjuring, the first one. S or A tier. I watched this the other night. This is the best Conjuring movie. It's scary. It's the one that launched the whole Conjuring universe. Man, do I want to say it's A tier or S tier? I don't know if it's mm, S tier. Better than Cabin in the Woods. It's better than The Babadook. For me, it's not one of those movies where I just rewatch, you know? Cabin in the Woods, I can rewatch. The Conjuring, I'm going to say it's A tier. This is, this, this is going to really piss some people off. I'm going to say A tier. The Texas Chainsaw 3D. That was easy. Moving on to... Insidious one. I enjoyed Insidious more than The Conjuring. I'm gonna say A. Yeah, A tier. I I think A. It's really good. I really enjoy the Insidious movies as a whole. Insidious two not as good as I'm gonna say B. Insidious two is definitely B for me. Not as good as the first one. They really rarely are. Three is with the old man. I didn't like three that much, but it's still enjoyable. I'll say B. I'll say B. Next up is uh, Insidious 4. You guys are gonna hate me for this? I'm going, I'm gonna do A. Insidious 4 is A for me. I really like this movie. I really like the concept of the demon with the key fingers. I like that they went back and visited and I like the little twists and everything that was in the movie. I really enjoyed number four. VHS 2, man, VHS 2. Yeah, three was the one I didn't like that much. Killa, I'm gonna go with you, It's it's B. Paranormal Activity, one. One, two, three, four, and five. All right, let's just, let's just pop these off real quick. Ready? Paranormal Activity, one, S tier. One was S tier for me when it came out. Yes, S tier was good. Two was also really good. I'm gonna say A tier though, not as good as the first one. Three, this is the one that started to drop off for me. So I'm gonna say three is B, okay? Four is D, five is D. That, that, there you go, that's that simple. Saw 3D. No one asked for a Saw 3D. <laughs> oh my God, come on. It's a terrible movie. Easy D. Move it on to Sinister, dubbed the scariest horror movie ever made. Whoever did that is, I don't agree with them. Are you fucking stupid? Jesus. Sinister's good though. Not the scariest movie ever made, Jesus. It's Sinister S tier though. I like the creature. I like the, the twist at the end, but it had so many jump scares in it, man. This is like the era of jump scares. But it kind of worked for the movie. It was definitely dark. Bagul, I think his name was. I'm gonna say it's S tier. Let's do it. Let's just have fun with it, you know? Let's just have fun with it. Um, The Belco Experiment. This movie's fun. This was an excellent movie. Not S tier. I'm gonna say it's A tier just because it's a lot of fun. It's brutal. And I like the idea behind it. Trapping people in an office building and then making them kill each other to see which one comes out on top. If you haven't seen it, definitely watch it. The Visit. This was very good. Let's move on to The Conjuring 2. Conjuring 2. I liked Conjuring 2. I think I might have liked it more than The Conjuring. I feel like The Conjuring 2 to me is more watchable than The Conjuring itself. I enjoy it more than one, but it's it's still it's still an A, a tier. I enjoy The Conjuring 2. Annabelle. 
Annabelle one. It's C. It's C-less, man. I that movie sucked. I did not like that movie. It was so boring. It was oh my god. It wasn't scary. It was boring. Okay. Don't even at me. We figured it out. Good stuff. Halloween remake. Re re sequel. Halloween sequel. I feel like every Halloween's S tier to me because I can always just rewatch them. And this sequel is pretty well done. Do I, I like it more than Sinister and The Visit and Paranormal Activity and Cabin in the Woods. And the subtle little horror in it, the background, uh, it makes it an S tier for me. Let's do that. It's S tier. Uh, Annabelle Creations. This one was better than the first. Um, this one was... I feel like Annabelle got better as the sequels came out. I'm gonna say B. Oddly enough, first Annabelle was the worst one. It really was. Um, A Quiet Place. A Quiet Place was good, but I'm gonna say it's A tier. It's not S tier. I like the concept. What I didn't like was two things. I did not like the creature design. I thought the creatures were gonna look different, but they, they're like, I don't know, man. There's just something weird about the design I don't like. And two, I don't like that somebody dies in it. I really liked his character and maybe I cried a bit. So I didn't like that. That made me cry. Don't breathe. This is the one where they turkey pasted the girl's vagina, right? I thought it was really ridiculous how well the blind man could hear, like superhuman. And for that, it's C. Get Out. I thought this movie was overrated for what it was. Like Get Out got so much hype. I don't know why it got so much hype. It was definitely interesting, but I don't think it's S or A. I honestly think it, it might be B. B, I'm gonna say B. Glass. It's Glass a horror movie. I do like Glass. Glass was fun. But I'm going to say B, just because it's not a horror movie, but there are horror aspects in it. But I'm just going to say B, just for Glass. I do love the movie. Happy Death Day. I, li I like I like this one. This one was fun. It was like Groundhog Day meets uh, with a little bit of a horror aspect in it. Horror comedy. I'm going to say A tier. This one was really fun. I love the chick in it. What's her name? Shit, what's her name? I forget. Happy Death Day 2 was also pretty good, but I was sad that they went with the same girl to help out the uh, the other guy in the movie. I was hoping the movie would be based on the other guy, the, the Asian dude, but they use the same chick. Not as good as the first one. I'd say B though. This next one, I'm sure a lot of horror fans love this movie. Just fucking lick it, lick it up. I did not like it at all. Hereditary. I thought this movie sucked. I thought it was bad, man. And I heard it was supposed to be three hours, but they cut it down to two hours. I get the whole meaning behind it and everything, but man, it was just, I don't know. There's something about that movie I did not like. Throw a fuck, do it. It's fucking C. Come at me! I saw this in the theaters. Then I watched it two more times. And I was just like, this movie is boring. There's some good horror elements in it that I like. Like the... I also like that it didn't uh, use jump scares on it. In it. In the atmosphere. They tried using the atmosphere. But it was just boring, man. But Midsommar was really good. And it was done by the same person. It follows. This one was good. This one is a S tier for me. I like that an STD haunts you and it never stops following you. I think that's the scary part. It's just like you're watching this movie and you don't know who it is, especially that one scene in the bedroom with the tall man. That shit was creepy, dude. Hush. You know, this movie to me was A when I was watching it. And then the dude took his mask off and then it became a B. I do like the concept that she's deaf. That makes it even more terrifying. But man, just the, the immersion gets ruined. If you're doing a serial killer movie and he's wearing a mask, that's his thing. And then he takes the mask off. The whole immersion, for me anyways, gets ruined. And it takes me out of the movie. It's like, ah, oh, it's another man. Like, I know he's a man of the mask, but it's just, it's the whole concept, man. That's why it's B. Jigsaw. Ugh. D. Come on. It's D. One, two are the best. And then it drops off severely. It. A1 was good. It's S tier. I could rewatch that movie all the time. It's so good, man. So well done. Oh boy, cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love cheese. It one's great. Um, I thought it was way better than the Tim Curry one. Although Tim Curry is straight to TV, so you know. It chapter two. I'm gonna say A, not as good as the first one. Cocaine field mess, but it stuck with the book. Mother! Jennifer Lawrence sucks. Let's see, I actually loved Mother. I just wish they'd picked another actress. I agree. Lights out. This one was fun. This one was this one kind of creeped me out, but it kind of fell at the end I'm gonna say B. It's a B. Not rewatchable in my opinion. It it always falls off at the end, doesn't it? Oculus that was a C as well. Didn't care for it. I got really nothing to say about it. It's a killer mirror. Ouija is a D <laughs> Okay, that one sucked, but Ouija origin of evil was pretty pretty good and creepy Honestly, this one's 
for me is an A. Is fuck that creepy girl. The Purge. Oh my God, are this all the Purge movies? Oh, we missed a paranormal movie. That ghost dimension. The fuck's the ghost dimension? The Purge. I don't know if this is S tier. If it says S tier, it's going out of the way, right? You know? A tier for sure. S tier, no. Purge election year. Uh, you know, Purge is not bad. Purge would be a B. The Purge. Purge Anarchy. Ooh, Purge Anarchy was really fun. I'm gonna say Purge Anarchy is B as well, and the other Purge would be another B. The first one's A. It's just a classic. Uh, Ghost Dimension. Ghost Dimension. D. Too many paranormals. We got the remake of Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery wasn't a bad remake. Definitely not as cheesy as the original. Definitely with a more darker tone. Little girl in it did such a good job as well, being a fucking undead cunt. Uh, I'm gonna say it's A. I liked it. Poor cat though. The Ritual. This movie's excellent, dude. This is was such a surprise that I say it's S tier. I could rewatch this movie. I really liked it. Group of friends taking a shortcut through the woods, being stalked by something. And the, the ending, you know what? As a horror movie, it's hard to do endings, but I think the ritual pulled it off. Raw, I haven't watched this one yet. I don't know, I'm gonna say D, I haven't watched it. Scream 4, I'm gonna say A. Not as good as the first few, but again, it had, a, it had to be clever because of all the scary movies, right? Um, but it's still good. Sinister 2 was not as good as the first one. Sinister 2 is a B. Now that you know like the twist and everything, number the second one just did not live up to the hype. Slender Man, D. That was trash. Summer of 84. Now this movie was excellent. This one surprised me, dude. Split. You know what? Split, I would say is a horror movie, horror thriller, you know. I think it's definitely S tier. John James McAvoy did an excellent job portraying 27 different people. Um, it kept you in suspense. You didn't know what the hell was gonna happen with this beast thing. And uh, it was good. The Strangers Pray at Night. This is a C. It took everything that the strangers did so well in the first one and took a dump all over it. Just dumped it right in the right in the poop. The Bye Bye Man is better than everything in the D. Slender Man ripoff. It's D. Come on. Let's just talk about it. It's D. All right. The Nun. I didn't mind the Nun. Enjoy your sub like my poop hole. <laughs> Thanks, Killa. The Nun is B. It's, it was very tropey. It's right up there with Animal Creations, but it's better than Annabelle. But not as good as The Conjuring too. Or the country. I'd say I'm gonna say B. You know what? The boy was actually really good. I really enjoyed the little twist, and it kept me in suspense. I really enjoyed this. This one was a surprise to me. I thought it was gonna be trash, but it was good. I enjoyed it. Lay the Rona. This one's C. I didn't really care much for it. Us. I thought it was better than Get Out. I watched it recently. I found myself looking at my phone. I, I don't think it's A. I thought it was really mediocre. They tried to do something different, which was nice. I'm gonna say B. B. I'm gonna say B. Well, it's better than Get Out, though. Maybe A. No. Is it better than... No. It wasn't better, I don't think. VHS! It's S tier. Simple. Really good movie. Anthology. Check it out. It'll make you not want to go to the dating scene ever again. You're next! This one was fun. I'd say it's B. Kept me guessing. Blood. Glory. Good little surprise at the end. I enjoyed it. I did. It was good. Velvet Buzzsaw. This one was an interesting concept. I liked it, but I found it at parts dragging. Had pacing issues, but I really liked that art was killing some people. I want to say, I really want to put it into A, but it really had its issues, pacing issues. I'm going to say B. Unfriended, C. Dark Web, D. The Witch, A, S tier. I feel that's fair. I feel like this list is fair. I like this list. I, I think it's good. Horror Movies 2010's tier list. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button and follow, and I will see you in the next video.